Life Conference, we made a decision how to spend the year of faith. And a decision was made that coming on to the end of that year, we will have a diocesan assembly. That is, people from all over the diocese, in the Rupununi, on the Essequibo Coast, Burbies and Georgetown, we'll send representatives to talk about the church, to talk about the faith. What is happening to us? How can we live our faith in an authentic way? In some of parishes, there are buzz going all, all around, and maybe some of you want to know what this buzz is about. They're talking about coming to meetings to talk about the faith. What things encourages us? What thing make us feel terrible? How can we offer ourselves in service to the church? Now, all around the diocese, they're getting together in groups to talk about this. And then in October, we meet together to talk about our experiences and then perhaps make decisions of how we will move on from this year of faith to live a life of authentic faith in our various communities. Now, a group was formed in order to set the thing going. And I was asked to be leader of that group. And so we got together with a number of lay people. Some of us priests got together with a number of lay people. And we sent out letters to all the parishes, asking them to help the people to come in groups and to talk about their faith. Now, very often, in our communities, we don't talk about faith. We talk about all kinds of other things. But we very rarely talk about how God is operating in my life. What is he saying to me? What are the challenges that I face and so on? That is exactly what we're asking the communities to do, to get together and talk about your faith. Sometimes we have questions about the faith. Sometimes we wonder and we ask God, where are you? Why are you not here with us? Why are all these terrible things happening to us? All of that is part of the faith. And all, is that, all of that is what we have to share with each other. How can we bolster the faith? How can we encourage one another to be faithful? It's not an easy thing, especially when we're not accustomed to talking faith language. Um, we go to church, we listen to sermons, and we go home. But very rarely do we talk faith language in our streets, in our homes, wherever we are. And yet each one of us have some experience of God in our lives. That is what we want to bring to the fore. That is what we want to encourage one another to do. How can I live my faith life in the society around me? How can I live my faith life in the poverty and the difficulties that I face? How can I live my faith life in the community in which I find myself? A community that is very often negative, violent, disturbing. We want to bring all those things to the fore. And then, in prayer and in discussion, to find a way to solve it. The New Testament has given us, especially the Acts of the Apostles, has given us a way in which we can do this. Remember when the women of outside Jerusalem were complaining that they're not getting the food and the clothes and the money that was given for charity. But the disciples said, listen, our first task is to preach the word of God. And therefore, it won't be right for us to give up preaching the word of God in order to hand out food and clothes. Let us get some people who can do that. And so seven men were elected to do only that, to look after the poor, to find a way of looking after those people who did not get what they needed. And so the first deacons were elected. These deacons were to help the priest in a social kind of way. But what they did, they decided, then they chose, and then a wonderful thing happened. They prayed, and then they laid hands on them and gave them this task. And then the, Peter said a very wonderful thing. We and the Holy Spirit decided. And from then on, you start to hear this wor these words, we and the Holy Spirit. They trusted in the Holy Spirit to guide them and to show them the way. When our various communities get together to discuss and so on, 
they begin with prayer. They ask the Lord for the strength and for the wisdom. And so they deal with all the questions that come before them and they bring it to the Lord. And the decisions that they make as Christians, they can say with confidence, we and the Holy Spirit decided. When we meet in October and we discuss all these things and we make a decisions about how we're going to live our faith life, we must be able to say with confidence, we and the Holy Spirit have decided. We don't do it on our own. We don't only discuss, but we discuss in prayer. And all around the diocese, as you hear all these buzzes going on and so on, we are hoping that it is in prayer, it is in charity, it is in openness and truthfulness that we are talking about what God is doing with us. All of us who love the church can feel a confidence, not only praising, but also criticizing, but criticizing in love. And I'm sure that many of you have many criticisms about our various communities. Let it not be only negative, let it be positive as well, so that our communities can grow and become better and become a place where God is and where people can find God. This is what the assembly is all about. This is what we're hoping to happen in October when we meet, where people can come not only with negative things, but also in a positive way to say this is how we would like to live our life as, as Christians, as Catholics in this, in this diocese. This is what we like to see happening. This is how we like to see our priests operating. This is how we like to see our nuns, our leaders. This is what we want. And so the assembly begins now in all your, all, all your, all your communities. Your leaders get together and talk about things that matter to you, things that you feel that will encourage our diocese. And I thank those who have already begun to buzz, to talk about various things. I thank them for starting. I know some of you are very, very afraid to call people together and discuss faith because you can't find the words. But I think once you begin, the words will come, the experience will come, and you'll be able to talk about your church. You'll be able to talk to your church. You'll be able to make a difference in your church. And that is what we're hoping the assembly will do. I'm hoping that along the line I come from time to time and try and encourage you so that you can come fully prepared to bring new life.